Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you have been watching my vlogs and you know today we're going to be upholstering a chair that I got from Goodwill for $1. I've already cleaned it and everything so today is the day that we actually get to spray that I'm going to spray paint it, glitter it, and then put the fur on. But before I actually got started, I wanted to go over the materials that I was going to be using with you guys. And the prices for everything will be listed in the description box. So the first thing that you're going to need is some spray paint. I am using Krylon's Metallic Brass. This is the color that I chose. I actually got mine. One can from Michael's and one can from Joann's. Make sure you guys use those 40% off coupons from Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's. They also have like a 50% coupon that they're giving out. You're also going to need some Mod Podge for the glitter part. And you're going to need some extra fine glitter. I don't recommend using the chunky glitter. Make sure that you get extra fine. Two cans of these. I chose this color because it matched the best with the spray paint. You may not need this, but it's easier to spray paint if you have one of these little spray paint handles. This one is by Rust-Oleum. Next, you're going to need fabric of choice. I bought mine from Joann. I got two yards of this Grizzly Faux Fur fabric. And then you want to protect the area that you're working in. So I got some newspaper from one of my co-workers. So let's go ahead and take this chair outside and get to work. So here I'm just shaking the paint first for like one to two minutes and then I'm just go ahead and starting spraying the legs. You want to keep the paint can moving. Do not concentrate your can in one area. Make sure that you keep it moving up and down motion side to side. Do not stop and like just hold it because you will get streaks and blotches and all of that. So that's the best way to do it and make sure that you're paying attention to making sure that you get all the creases and crevices. I made sure I get every angle of the chair so there wouldn't be a spot left behind. Every part is not going to get glitter but I do want every part to get the gold color. So make sure that you're not missing spots like those little corners at the back of the chair and on the side and underneath and those little edges that I'm painting that are like really tight. Make sure that you're getting all of that and after that you'll be done. You don't even have to do two coats. One coat will be fine. So once you actually finish spray painting, make sure that you go back and check your chair. So you should have a smooth, nice consistency like mine here. Once you got your chair all dry, you want to go ahead and grab your glossy Mod Podge and your brush of choice. I'm going to pour about one third of the container of Mod Podge into this bowl and then I'm going to enter the entire container of glitter. Only one though, um, you only need one for this is enough for two coats. So I'm just going to mix that up, make sure that you don't have any chunks or anything like that and you're ready to paint the chair. I painted my chair in strokes but be aware I did my first layer very thick and it turned out it took two to three hours for this first layer to dry so please do not do very thick coats. Um, make sure that they're kind of thin and make sure that you spread it out because the thicker the layers are it will take forever for your chair to dry and that wasn't fun at all. So here it is now 10 o'clock like I said and now I'm doing the second coat and this time I am definitely making sure that I'm doing lighter coats. Definitely not doing what I was doing before. I make sure to spread the paint evenly out before I dip again and again I go in with a smaller amount. But just as long as you do that, your chair should dry fine. Also, I'm not worried about getting the cushions messed up or anything because everything that you see that is blue will be covered. So I'm not using much technique here. Just covering the chair with the glitter. If it gets somewhere, I really don't care. So make sure that if you want to protect those surfaces, then you might want to remove them or cover them or something. Good morning guys, it is the next day and two layers on the chair have now dried. So now we're only going in with a little Mod Podge this time in about one third of the container of our final jar of glitter. And you're just gonna mix that up and we're gonna apply our final layer. So nothing tedious and now I'm just gonna go back to sleep and we'll work on this when it dries. So now in the video it is now 11 o'clock so it's been about three and a half hours later. And now we're just going in with Mod Podge by itself to be the final layer for the chair. This is going to seal everything in place and we can start working on the cushion and the fabric. So now the chair is completely dry and I'm rubbing my fingers across it and no glitter at all. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting the fur on. 
Originally, I wasn't gonna use extra cushion on the chair, but if you guys can see, it has like these little dividends and ridges on here. Went ahead and got some foam. My chair is actually gonna be super comfy, but um, this is one half inch project foam. And yeah, I got this from Walmart. It was $10. And you get, um, I think, 72 inches of this. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. So I didn't even have to cut the foam or anything. I just threw it on the chair, started creasing it down trying to see where I wanted to position it. It wasn't even on both sides, but I worked with it. And I just positioned it as you see here. I made sure that I pulled it up to the edge of the chair and then used my handy dandy staple gun, which I got a really long time ago from a hardware store. And then I just stapled it in, no issues there. So yeah, I'm stapling on the wood part of the chair and I'm putting some hot glue on the seat area just to make sure that it stays down and in place. And also put some on the phone, one area that I couldn't reach because of where my hot glue gun was. But yeah, I went ahead and just continued to staple the rest of the chair together and turn it and everything like that. So this is pretty much all I did. Putting this part on was pretty easy, but it took a lot of time. So I'm just going to let you guys watch and see what happens. For the best parts ever, the fabric. Like I said, I got two yards of this grizzly fabric from Joann's. So now I'm just putting on here to position it and see how much I think I'll need. But to be more precise, I went ahead and grabbed my tape measure and I measured um, all the way to the edge and I kind of gave myself like an inch allowance just in case. So I wrapped that around, not tight, but very loose. So I just cut that, the whole thing down, the whole two yards of the fabric. And it, I did have a lot of fabric left over, guys, so you definitely don't need two yards, maybe a yard and a half. But to be safe, I would still get two yards. But yeah, guys, so just go ahead and start tucking the fabric into the corners and everything like that. I want to make sure everything's going to work out before I actually start um, gluing and stapling things in place. Okay y'all, so my camera actually died. I'm not gonna be able to exactly show you every step of me applying the fur, but I think it's kind of self-explanatory, but I will tell you some tips and tricks that I'm doing. Yeah, I already did the other side of the chair on the bottom. So what I did was when I cut the fabric, I made sure to leave enough so that it definitely covers this area. And even if it doesn't cover this little spot, what I do is I cut a little piece so I cut already one. I think I'm going to have to cut another one. I cut a little spot and I go ahead and I applied that little piece of fabric in this corner. So that way when I overlap it, you won't even tell anyway. But for the most part, what I've been doing is I went and grabbed my butter knife. Because if you will see, there's a little crease here. I pulled the fabric tight and I've been tucking it into the crease. I'm tucking the actual edge of the fabric into the crease. But it makes it so much easier if you use a little butter knife or a scraper tool. So when I actually stapled the fur down to the chair, I try to lift up all the fur that's gonna get in my way so that way you won't see random staple marks. So I lift up the fur until like the very edge of the fur and I'll staple onto that. So that way when I pull it back over, you won't see any staples. Okay, so for this part, I think I'm gonna staple it all the way up until this edge right here. And then I'm going to bring it back over. It's a lot of excess. I'm going to cut that off. So to be really clean, I'm going to pull it tight, staple the back. I'm going to staple until right under this crease right here. So that's where my fabric will end. And I will staple all of that. And I will come back to you guys when my fur chair is completed. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing for the arms. But I'm going to get back to you guys. We're almost finished. Just gonna brush it the way that I want it to go. Okay guys, this is my finished product. I absolutely love it. It is like the best thing ever to me and to think I only paid one buck for this chair. It is definitely worth so much more, especially to me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know I did. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, like, and share. Ooh.